So we have our parade judge lineup again this year. We have Lori Bornes from Q97.9. And we have Deb Landville from the Congress Bar and Grill. from Coffee by Design. And of course, I'm meteorologist Craig Miller from Channel 13, so you're welcome for this beautiful day. I take full credit. When it rains, it's somebody else's problem. I don't know, it's not mine. And now you can hear them rubbing up down the street. Dykes on bikes have actually been leading pride parades for decades throughout the country, and they are honored to continue to lead the Pride Portland Parade for over 25 years.
first and only life care retirement community that promotes residents' long-term well-being and health within a continuum of life care services. We love the hats. Kindergarten through grade 12 and 4,700 adult learners. 
The district takes full advantage of its location in the vibrant city of Portland. School draws on the resources offered by all the museums, theaters, local businesses, and the city's college and university. We are so proud to have them in the Portland Pride Parade for 2015. Please welcome one of our many great churches that are joining us today, the Circle of Hope Community Church. They were formerly part of the Metropolitan Community Church for over 20 years. Now they are worshiping uh, in the parlor at 1.30 in the beautiful Williston Emanuel United Church every Sunday. And we have the Grace Street Ministry. They provide a compassionate outreach ministry to the homeless and the marginalized in downtown Portland and offer support through presence, prayer, and advocacy. Ladies and gentlemen, walking up the street now under the artistic director of Larry Jackson, please put your hands together for the new main Damon's Chorus. They will be performing tonight at 7 o'clock at the Portland Players Theater in South Portland. We have University of Southern Maine for Sexualities and Gender Diversity. Yeah, it looks like they're throwing some candy at it. Hey, the University of Southern Maine Center for Sexualities and Gender Diversity seeks to ensure a university environment that is positive, safe, and supportive for everyone. and affirming congregation. And very colorful umbrellas today. Love it. Really great to see all these churches coming out today. Give a warm welcome for the First Parish Congressional Church of Gorham. Welcome church as diverse as all of humanity. And so, whoever you are, wherever you are in life's journey, they can offer a place in your community of seekers, believers, and doubters. And right behind, that is the University First Par uh, State Street Church. Uh, First Univers Universalist Church of Yarmouth. Got to order a little bit. All right, it's all good. And we have the Animal Refuge League. The mission of the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland is to provide temporary care and shelter for stray, abandoned, confiscated, and relinquished animals. 14, nearly 4,000 animals came through their doors. Give it up for Maine's oldest gay neighborhood bar, Blackstone. encourages open-mindedness, diversity, and the right to an alternative lifestyle without discrimination, judgment, or persecution.
Fur Charity. Fur Charity is a group of mascots and costumers, as you can see. They aim to bring joy and happiness in addition to supporting various charities in the state of Maine. They're a newly formed group, and they're serving for charities and events to help us to help entertain all of us. Any guesses on what this group is? Any guesses? That's right, yes, it's Go Portland Volleyball. They are an LGBT friendly volleyball league. What a great day for it, huh? trauma and bereavement veterans. Please give a warm welcome to the LGBT Law Caucus of Maine Law. The Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Law Caucus serves as an educational, political, and social group for the University of Maine School of Law. It's the Forsyth Community Church! <laughs> and we have outright Lewis and Auburn! <laughs> Nearly 20 years working to create a safe space for LGBTQ youth age 21 and under. A big welcome today. And please welcome Hardy Girls Healthy Women. <laughs> Hardy Girls is a nonprofit who envisions a world where all girls and women experience safety, independence, and equality. <laughs> we have Parlor and Organic Salon Experience. They even have the chair and everything already. We have the Maine Green Independent Party. They've always stood with the LGBT community supporting marriage equality. They're also the ones that brought legalization of marijuana to Portland and are now working on a $15 minimum wage for Portland. We have the Rainbow League of Southern Maine Community College. Wow, we got lobsters in the street. It's the free range fish and lobster. Yeah, of course, you can always get fresh seafood. And what time is not right for a lobster, right? We love you! We have the University of New England. Yeah! It means largest private university with three beautiful campuses in Portland, Biddeford, and Tangier, Morocco. Yeah! Right behind them is the ACLU of Maine. They're the state's garden, gar, excuse me, guardian of liberty. And right on their heels is P Flag. provide supportive services to friends and family members of LGBTQ persons. And they've been in the parade for many years. A big welcome. Show last featuring live burlesque and shows every 
Friday and Saturday. Check out their one month party tonight with DJ Renzo at Bank of America is joining us today. They strive to help all employees reach their full potential. Their support comes through and their values, policies, and benefit programs. Please give a warm welcome to Equality Maine. They are Maine's oldest and largest lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender political advocacy organization. Please give it up to Patriot Subaru of Saco. That means largest Subaru store, and the mission is to provide service to their customers, families, and their communities. All in big day of T-Mobile. They received the top score on the HRC's 2014 Corporate Equality Index. And no parade would be complete without the Fanny Peabody Center. Please give a warm welcome. Fanny Peabody Center has been providing direct services for the people at Maine living with HIV and AIDS for over 25 years, as well as prevention, outreach, and free HIV testing. The agency now also offers hepatitis C testing through Southern Maine. to see what that globe is made out of. Which, by the way, you can get free at the Franny Peabody Center. We have Rocky for Equality. It's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. We're a small theater company from Augusta, Maine, who is striving to bring an annual production of the Rocky Horror Show to Augusta every year. We have the St. Anne's Star Luther and Ferret. And right behind that, we have another one of the great churches joining us today, Allen Avenue Unitarian Universalist Church. Big round of applause. They celebrate diversity and encourage spiritual growth and foster social responsibility as they walk with care on this earth. Please give a round of applause to Moosan. They're a statewide advocacy and public policy network anchored in their faith and animated by its principles. They welcome as partners and collaborators of all those who share their values. It's the Unitarian Universalist Church of Brunswick.
the Greater Portland Board of Realtors. They are proud to be participating in this year's Pride Portland Day. The Greater Portland Board of Realtors fully supports main fair housing laws and the right of all people. Here we have the Southern Main Workers Center. And Portland Outright. Give a warm welcome to these folks of Portland Outright. They're a youth driven organization offering support and services. the Southern Main Workers Center here in red. They're a member-based organization the price of working and poor people building grassroots movements to ensure that all of our basic human rights are met. We have Barclay Card U.S. They have a strong track record in supporting our LGBT colleagues and customers and they've been recognized globally by various organizations. The University of Maine, Matthias. We have Integrity Maine here with us today. We have Planned Parenthood of Northern New England. Reproductive health care and sexuality education provider and advocate in Northern New England. And give it up, make some noise, it's six! <laughs> Join them for the biggest party of the year, it's the Glow Sticks Pride Party. Doors open at 4 o'clock, no cover if you get there before 9, dancing until 3 a.m. We got thin one, thin two, make it one and make it two. Pride flag. The River of Pride flag on loan from the bishop at the Mercala Sol in Augusta measures over 900 feet long. The flag was handcrafted by volunteers right here in the Portland area and is truly a piece of main LGBT history. It takes over 300 people to carry the flag and we invite you to help us flow this River of Pride flag all the way down to Deer and Oaks Park. I want to make a quick announcement. There's going to be something happening right here. Catch this. Lou, take the stage, please. She is currently proposing to her girlfriend, Teresa. to all of our Pride Portland Parade sponsors. Our signature sponsor this year is U.S. Cellular. Our prestige sponsors, TD Bank and Wex. And the fiscal sponsor, Equality Maine, along with a number of other organizations that make this whole event possible. Thank you all for joining us today. Happy Pride 2015.